Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. <clears throat> this morning in the chapel we have no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Matthew 6, 24. So, yeah, we are definitely trying to serve God but you know money plays a big part in this world and we have to have our bills paid and it's a fine line we walk so all right a lot of personal stuff going on so we will just do the um, first part of as my crochet and stuff um, so there's two things going on okay and the one thing that I am working on is I am on the final round of my big sweater. I even made a couple of little um, squares for pockets that I'm going to add because I have keys at work and I like to be able to put them in my pocket. Um, I don't like to have them around my wrist. So I have another full cake like this. So. I may make a long um, scarf to go with it, but I don't know. Um, I can't do a hat at work, so um, yeah, it is what it is, and it's, the neck will turn like this. As soon as it gets a little more length to it, the neck will turn like this, and then go down. So, right now it's just wanting to curl up because it's just too gross. But, yep. So, I have been working on that. Um, I'm really looking forward to having it done, if that makes sense. Um, and then I have the white one to go. So, yeah, got that going on. Then, um, my next sewing project, I am going to make a couple of things. Um, one of which is being da, this. So, it's a bow tie pattern. And we have one gentleman at work, and he is the, uh, <clears throat> one of our managers. So, um, he actually is the manager over the tellers, but that means he's, acting manager whenever everybody else is gone so anyway really nice guy but he's the only bow tie he has is a wooden one and I was giving him a hard time about it and he doesn't know how to um, tie a tie and all this stuff but uh, so I came up at for Christmas I have a plan that I am going to make bow ties for him now I wanted them to match his socks but because he always wears funny kinds of socks but nobody can remember what kind of socks he has and I was like hmm so I decided I'm just gonna do it with kind of some traditional patterns and I'm gonna make two sets uh, he's going to end up with two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of them. Uh, so when I decided I was going to do this, some of them are going to be clip on. I've already ordered the little clips. Um, some of them are going to be clip ons and some of them he's going to have to tie. Uh, so when I came up with this idea of making him some bow ties and making a set of bow ties, um, I uh, told another lady at work, she says, oh, you have to do the thunder if you can find material for it because he loves the thunder. So I am going to make one that ties that's the thunder. I don't want it to be clip on. I want him to have to learn to tie a bow tie and have the thunder bow tie on. Uh, then I went to another lady, and I did find Thunder material. I'm just waiting on it to come in. Uh, 
I went to another lady and was telling her, and she said, oh my gosh, she says, if you could find yellow bug, you know, if you could find some bug material, make him a bug bow tie. Um, so uh, we use a VW bug as our logo. Um, it's been that way since the 60s. I honestly, it went with the slogan, but I don't remember what the slogan was way back then. So, anyway, um, we actually have two courier cars that are VW Bugs, and they have little scrunchy cars that they give away that are VW Bugs. They have remote control cars that are VW Bugs that they take to walkathons for the children of the school. Um, yeah, they they really do the VW bug up. So, when I was talking to the other lady, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And, you know, Becky said, what about the thunder? She goes, you know, it would be funny if you could find some yellow VW bug material. I said, yeah, it would. So, as the rest of us talked and this thing evolved, uh, Mackenzie, another lady, she's like, you know what would really be cool is if you meet Daniel Bowtie. And Leah, we have a uh, one of our managers who wears men's ties sometimes. She says, you should make her a tie. And then Kristen, she's like, yeah. And since those two are the only, you can't leave Becky yet. Becky's our third manager that's in the building. Um, we could do her like a little scarf, you know. I said, okay. So then we only have two other managers and you can't leave them out. So, I will be making the two men bow ties, two women side scarves, and one long tie. And if I have enough material, I'm gonna make the president of the bank a long bow tie, just, or a long regular tie. But I'm just saying. So I did find two yards of this material, and I think that is more than enough um, to do. Um, I am going to make Jonathan's bug bow tie a clip on. So that he doesn't have to learn to tie a tie. Tie a bow tie. Daniel will get the bug one and the uh, and I may make Daniel's a clip on bow tie for the bug one. Then he's going to get the thunder. And then I came up with, so far, these, which I'm looking for two other, two better ones than this. But I've got polka dot, dark blue polka dots. I've got red plaid. I've got this greenish blue. It's more green than it is blue polka dot, or stripes, check, plaid. Then I have some gray, smaller polka dots. And then I've got some light blue stars. I decided if I was going to do a collection um, that it needed to have traditional patterns, you know. So they're not going to match his socks, but hey, it's a cute idea. Um, so I've got these that I definitely want to do. Then I've got I just felt like he needed a flowery one, but I'm not sure that this is the material. That's green. And then I have some pink swirls. I don't know about these two. It honestly will come down. This one will have to be a clip on because I don't have enough to do the bow tie um, pattern to learn to tie it. But I do have enough to do a clip on. Ugh. And I also am going to stop by Hobby Lobby and pick up some satin to go on the backs of these. So, yeah, I'm going to make the Thunder one a tie one. I think I want to make, like, the plaid and, I don't know, the star one or something. I'm going to do three or four clip-ons and then three or four. So, then... The whole thing with the bow tie took another turn when we, the tellers and the uh, 
bankers have separate meetings. So I'm going to do a set for the bankers to give to him and a set for the tellers to give to him. So, and I'm not sure if there's two teller meetings or one, but we will see. If there's two teller meetings, I will divide it into three. And he will get a couple of bow ties at every party. So, um, if there's three, then I will need three that tie. And I will need three clip-ons at least. So, and my thing is, is the thunder and the bug one. The bug one isn't in the collection because I'm going to give all of them one. So, um, if I do that, I will have something like, <laughs> I don't want to put polka dots together and checks together. I want them to each have their own little thing. So, um, and I just looked for fat quarters because that's all it takes to make one. Uh, so, if I do, it'll be something like this. Polka dot checks, you know. But I am going to go to Hobby Lobby uh, today after work. And I'm going to look at their fat quarters and see what they have for traditional, what I consider traditional bow tie material. And I'm going to find some satin backing because that's normally what you use and some sew-in uh, stabilizer, not stabilizer, uh, oh my goodness, I can't even think of what it's called. <sighs> interfacing, sew-in interfacing. Mm. Um. I did read that sew-in is better for ties as you need them to move and tie a little bit. So um, I will be doing that. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to put across the back to because when you do a regular tie for the long one for Leah, um, I may just put a piece of ribbon across there or I might make a small scrap of the satin to do the back. Now, with the Thunder one, because I have to have backs for all of these. Okay, so um, I literally was thinking a little black satin. And then, uh, and I might just use black cotton instead of satin on that one. Or I may make it a bow tie. I don't know. I'd really like this one to be a tie-tie one. But, um, and the rest of them, I think, will do fine with white. So, I will do white on the um, Oklahoma Thunder basketball one. I'm thinking I'll do orange. It will depend on what I can find. And I'll want to match it, you know, to the color. So, I think orange. Um, so, anyway, those are the two projects that I have going on right now. Is I'm going to get to work on those after the wedding. This, I'm just working on in the evening. So personal update Friday I missed work because I had a headache I was super sick I took my medicine it made me throw up so I spent the morning throwing up then I went back to bed didn't make it into work went back to bed uh, didn't wake up till 5 in the evening so yeah it is what it is um, Saturday I was just drained of energy and kind of weak and I had all the stuff for the shower to do. So basically, I just bucked up and done it. And uh, I got the sandwiches done. I got the cupcakes made Saturday morning. They cooled, and then I frosted them Saturday afternoon. Uh, I got the, I ran to Sam's on Saturday morning. I picked up a fruit tray and pinwheels. Um, all that got everything done. Sunday, we did the shower. I, I'm a little disappointed, but I don't know. I honestly think that Macy's mom is more the driving force for all these shenanigans for the wedding. Um, I don't think that it would be half as what 
as RJ said, a project that should have taken three hours took three days. Um, when I got to the shower, I'm the one that set up all the food. Uh, she had platters out, but she didn't even decide what food she wanted on what platter. Um, she did have some bottled water that her son brought in this cute little tote with some bottles of water. And they didn't even get there with the ice until, I don't know, after we'd already finished eating and started opening gifts. Then, uh, let's see. The, uh, what else? Did she, she did help with the vegetables. She cut up the mushrooms. Um, and then she started to put them on a certain tray and then she walked off and I ended up finishing it. Everything else I set up. Um, she started to move chairs into the living room the way she wanted them. Now, uh, Macy's brother did set up the balloons to designate her chair and a little rocking horse thing that was outside um, as, yeah, you've reached your, your destination. You know, it was something to let people know that, yeah, here's a shower. But she would start things and not finish them. The punch. She would go in there and she literally gathered everything out on the ca counter. Started to read the recipe. Walked off. And it sat there for a while. So I went in and finished it. It just drove me crazy. And she has a, a dog that has had surgery twice and it hasn't taken it went back to the doctor yesterday the vet and i haven't called to ask them what went on um but it got in a fight with a varmint and got tore with the long claws so she basically walked around carrying the dog most of the time <laughs> which is fine it went off without a hit um she had a kennel in her room for the dog. She just didn't put her in there. For whatever reason, I don't know. Um, that dog probably didn't need to be around. So many people, so many germs, and yeah, I don't know. So, anyway. Um, it is what it is. In the end, Macy was, she had fun. And that was my whole goal. Um, we had Kentucky Derby hats, and we played games, and, you know, it is what it is. So, RJ said she, for the first time with wedding stuff, she honestly had fun at the bridal shower. So, um, she had her bachelorette party, and apparently that didn't go as planned, and it was just fussy. You know, when you get a bunch of young girls together, that happens, so... So, uh, so yesterday, that was Sunday, we had the shower. I was, I didn't know anyone at the shower, okay? So, not only did I set up, I cleaned up. So, I did pretty much everything for it. She provided the place and acted like that was over the top. But anyway... I think it's her mom that's more fussy than Macy is. So, I'm going to let that go. Of course, it was a little trying time. going to let that go. So, uh, Monday, I went up and saw RJ. Woohoo! That made me happy. Um, he had our blue and gold sausage and chicken strips that we ordered. You know, um, Eddie's Kiss has the fundraiser, and so we order from them, and then I go up and get it from RJ. And, so I saw him and took him some Mountain Dew. He was like, I don't have any Mountain Dew. Um, but I got him Mountain Dew and I saw him for a little bit. Then I came back here and I have been neglecting this house. On Saturdays, I've been going to the farm and working and I did not work there this weekend. So there is no tiny house update. Uh, but I've went there and work or I have neglected this house when I go to work. So this house I vacuumed I kicked Hitch out and I vacuumed and his hair gets everywhere especially in the den and 
I vacuumed this house for an hour and a half and still was picking up dog hair and dust and dirt and emptying my little thing. And then I scrubbed the vacuum because it was just plumb over the top. I did run to Walmart. Um, RJ asked me a favor. Um, so with the wedding stuff and putting in the, the tiny house that he's moving in. He's had a lot of expenses and he's gotten behind on some things. So I paid his electric bill, his propane bill, which I always pay the propane bill. I don't want him without hot water. And it's only a once a year bill. And it's always in rodeo season. So, yeah. Um, and then his father is the one taking his horse to Vegas for him. For the Indian National Rodeo finals and he will be up there he leaves next saturday no so we're gonna have pizza on saturday for his birthday just a little bit late and then he leaves that tuesday they fly out him and macy are flying out um because he has to be there tuesday wednesday thursday his father is going to drive his horse out and uh his father busted his phone and he's just he is what he is and he says that it still works so he's not getting another one blah 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 anyway i went and bought a cheap phone to replace it because he needs to be able to get directions first off and second off he needs to be able to make phone calls when he's driving cross country and if something were to happen he would be without a phone and so i went and bought picked up and it's not that RJ didn't try RJ went to get it and the place over bottle didn't have anything but like 800 900 dollar phones and he goes mom I don't even have an 800 or 900 you know I'm not buying him one for this trip so I went to Walmart um the AT&T that's who what carrier we use their go uh AT&T mobile or AT&T prepay or whatever those phones are halfway decent and they work with um you just take your your sim card out and put it in the new one so i went and got him a cheap 50 dollars phone and i'll take it to rj saturday and then his father will be taken care of but his father can't know that it came from me or he will be upset so <laughs> yeah it is what it is you know how that goes but anyway so this saturday i did buy my leaf rake and i will be taking it with me instead of a rock rake um i did notice that more of the grass has died away um because our as you notice i'm in a sweater it's 43 degrees outside mm -hmm. yeah so it's been getting down into the 40s I don't even know what happened to the 50s. It went from 60s in the, at night. Now it's 40s in the night. So um, it's 40 degrees in the evening. And it's 70s during the day. So I will be getting out there this weekend. And I'm going to spend some time with RJ. He's going to get his father's phone ready. You know. But. And then back to life as normal. And then November 2nd is the wedding. They leave on their honeymoon. The third, the venue that they are at actually includes a room for the night of the second. So they will leave on the third for Branson and be gone a week. So uh, it, it's just a couple more weeks. That's what I keep saying. It's just a couple more weeks. Um, so I get through this week. And then the, next, the middle of next week I take off. Ooh, and I will help RJ do whatever he needs to. Alright, so that is a complete update. Sorry it's not very interesting. Um, sorry it's me griping. But, uh, I think that's about it. Anyway, keep up to date. I am going to Hobby Lobby today. I'm on my way home. Just because it, and I will find some white satiny silk or something. And some sew-in, uh, in, uh, why can't I think of that? I just, ah, uh, stabilizer. Goodness gracious. Ah, uh, anyway, 
I'm going to get off here. I've got to get ready for work, considering I missed Friday. <laughs> that means I'm so behind. That's okay. I got this. I got this. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.